a devastated and heartbroken father of a one-year-old who died from a fentanyl overdose at a Bronx daycare held back tears as he told that it had been his son's first week at the center. The one-year-old named Nicholas was one of the four children to ingest fentanyl while being cared for at the Divino Nino daycare on Morris Ave on King's Bridge on Friday afternoon. The boy's distraught father, Othonio Feliz, 32, appeared teary-eyed as he spoke outside his apartment just a 15-minute walk from the daycare. Othonio said this was his first week, he said. This was his first week. He and his wife, who asked to remain anonymous, went to the Kingsbridge Heights Community Center to find a suitable daycare for their son, Nicholas. They waited close to a year to find a suitable place to care for the young infant. They were grateful to hear Divino Nino Daycare could help them. We had a great recommendation. We were told it was a great place. It looked like a nice place, he explained. But within a week of being cared for at the daycare, Nicholas ingested fentanyl, a substance that has caused a spike in overdoses across the U.S. The father said they had been given a tour of the daycare at the first time they dropped their son off and it looked like any other with toys and kids, furniture inside. But after enrolling their son, Othonio and his wife were never allowed to come back and their son often being brought to them by caretakers, he claimed. Parents don't have permission to go inside. You see it on the first day to see where your son will be, but after that, you don't have permission to go inside, he claimed. His wife explained she'd gone to pick her son up early from the daycare. Arriving at the daycare, the emergency center police tape and service cops were blocking the street. Her heart dropped as she received a call no parent ever wants to hear. My wife called me saying our child is going to the hospital. We thought he was fine. Ten minutes later, my wife called me back on the way to the hospital and said he died. All four children were taken to the hospital, but Nicholas didn't survive. The others are in stable condition, with the eight-month-old being treated for dehydration. The children had allegedly been put down for naps to be woken up at 2.30 p.m. and had eaten something about 90 minutes earlier, sources said. When cops arrived at the scene, all four children were administered with Narcan, one of whom responded to the life-saving drug, police said. The daycare has a capacity of eight children between the ages of six weeks to 12 years old. One of the women believed to run the daycare has been taken in for questioning. No arrests have been made in connection with the incident as of yet, and police are still investigating. Sources with knowledge of the investigation confirmed multiple drugs were found at the daycare as well as a kilo press. A kilo press is used to package large quantities of drugs. Sources also confirm all four children came in contact with fentanyl. According to records, the daycare passed its annual unannounced inspection with zero violations on September 6th after receiving its license in May. The father said, I have no words to express how I'm feeling now. Nobody expects to send your kids to a safe place and next you have a phone call saying your child has died. Every time I return home, he's waiting for me at the door. It's hard to come home and I don't see him there. A neighbor described the owner as hanging outside the daycare during her off hours, drinking hookah, playing dominoes into the early morning hours. The case is still under investigation. I hope that the family get the answers. Justice is served and may the family find peace in their hearts and soul.